In today's world of rapidly evolving technology and consumerism, a controversial practice has taken center stage planned obsolescence. We will explore the intricacies of this phenomenon that shapes our economy and impacts our environment. But why would companies intentionally make products that don't last? Let's delve into the reasons behind this intriguing practice. Planned obsolescence, as the term suggests, is the deliberate design and manufacturing of products with a limited lifespan. These products are meant to become obsolete or non-functional within a specific time frame. Planned obsolescence serves multiple purposes for companies. Firstly, it drives repeat purchases. When products become outdated or cease to function optimally, consumers are compelled to buy new ones. Secondly, it fuels technological advancements. To stay competitive, manufacturers are pushed to innovate and release newer, more advanced models. Lastly, planned obsolescence is a strategic move to maintain profits and market share in a fiercely competitive business landscape. The impact of planned obsolescence on the economy is a double-edged sword. Let's explore the positive and negative implications. On one hand, planned obsolescence drives consumer spending, stimulating economic growth. This cycle of purchasing creates revenue streams, jobs, and contributes to GDP growth. Moreover, the constant need for upgrades spurs innovation and technological progress across various industries. But there's a dark side to this practice as well. Planned obsolescence leads to resource depletion and waste generation. The production and disposal of short-lived goods result in increased energy consumption, greenhouse gas emissions, and excessive landfill waste. It also perpetuates a culture of overconsumption, contributing to unsustainable consumption patterns. As with any complex issue, there are proponents and critics of planned obsolescence. Proponents argue that planned obsolescence has its merits. It drives research and development, leading to innovations and product improvements. Additionally, it enables companies to offer products at more affordable prices by using less durable components, thus expanding accessibility. Planned obsolescence also supports employment by creating a demand for maintenance, repair, and recycling services. However, critics raise valid concerns about its negative impacts. He throwaway culture it fosters contributes to excessive waste generation and environmental degradation. Non-replaceable or non-upgradable components in products can make repair difficult or economically unviable, leading to premature disposal. Moreover, planned obsolescence erodes consumer trust and satisfaction, as customers may feel misled by intentionally designed flaws. As consumers become more environmentally conscious, a shift is underway. People are demanding sustainable and durable products, which is challenging companies to rethink their strategies. Balancing profitability with long-term sustainability has become crucial for companies in today's changing world. In the end, planned obsolescence is a complex dance between business, innovation, and the environment. As we move forward, the choices we make as consumers and the practices adopted by corporations will shape the path we take. This is planned obsolescence, profit and sustainability, reminding us that the future of consumption rests in our hands. If you found this video as fascinating as we did, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more thought-provoking content. And for a deeper dive into this topic, visit our website where you can explore further. Until next time, let's keep the conversation alive and the future brighter.